I want my pitchers to say that I'm not a serial killer. I'm a, a cute, fun guy who it will you will enjoy your date on Tinder with. You know, I've had pretty good luck on Tinder, so I didn't really think that I needed one. But a friend had one a couple weeks ago. They came out really well, and they got a really good response. So, you know, I thought, why not? I should get my own and and see uh, see how they do. I'm Max Schwartz and I shoot headshots for Tinder. Initially I didn't think this would be anything serious. I took a coworker's headshot once and he ended up uploading it to Tinder and putting it up on his Facebook. And he came up to me about a week later telling me like how well it worked for him and how it really helped his swipe rights. I'd heard about Tinder, but I had never seen it in the wild, as it were. I wanted to think more deeply and provocatively about why I was swiping the way that I was. The biggest finding of my piece was that people are turned off or swipe no on, or on profiles that are decidedly a different class. And the language that people use to describe that, they, weren't, they didn't say like, that person looks poor, I don't have anything to talk to them about. It was more, I don't know what we would have in common. I think that physical attractiveness ultimately matters less than having those signifiers of race and class and, and education level in the actual picture. There's that tiger shot. As soon as the picture comes up, I think it is a, a split second decision whether I find them attractive or not. And then after that, it's more of looking through and saying, oh, we like the same things. We, you know, if in their profile, they listen to the same bands that I do. His beard is pretty nice. And we have a match. It is entirely window shopping for the modern digital era. And it's, there's no risk, it's all reward. They've figured out how to minimize all of the negative effects of dating. Absolutely, there is such a thing as chemistry, and I think when you actually meet someone and you meet, you lock eyes with them, I don't know, across the subway or something like that, that's when you feel a chemistry that can overcome your natural inclination to, or a more objective idea that you shouldn't be matched with someone who's not exactly like you.